I have a friend who worked for a manager known for making the whole department miserable. The manager was such an oppressive boss that when she announced she would be leaving the company, the staff struggled to hide their joy as she served her two-week notice. But they were able to secretly plan a going away party for the manager's last day on the job. Only they did not invite the manager. Once she went away, they threw a party. Well, that's not usually what we're trying to do when we throw a going away party. Typically, we mean to celebrate the person who's going away, not the relief of their going. But consider this, when we celebrate Palm Sunday and Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, we are, in a way, doing a little of both. If you remember the story, Jesus is entering Jerusalem when the city erupts into celebration as they think Jesus is coming to overthrow the Romans. So, they are celebrating the person of Jesus. But Jesus did not come to Jerusalem to conquer the Romans. He came to die on a Roman cross. Little did the inhabitants know they were throwing Jesus a going away party. And it's a going away party worth throwing. When Jesus died on the cross, he gave the oppressive rule of evil, sin, and death its two-week notice. This present evil age is on its way out. Hallelujah! Like those who celebrated the departure of an oppressive boss, we can celebrate the departure of the oppressive rule of evil and sin that has long tormented our souls. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, he entered to triumph over the devil's rule of darkness and fear, bringing us into his light and love. Listen to these words of celebration often read on Palm Sunday. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes. The Lord has done it this very day. Let us rejoice today and be glad. Lord, save us. Lord, grant us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. From the house of the Lord we bless you. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine on us. With bows in hand, join in the festal procession up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is is good. His love endures forever. As we celebrate Palm Sunday, may our praise and joyous worship be a response of overflowing gratitude for who Jesus is and what he has done. Not overthrowing cities and rulers, but conquering sin and death and reigning in our lives. Hosanna, Hosanna. I'm Greg Williams, Speaking of Life. Thanks for watching this episode of Speaking of Life. We hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to connect with you. Here are a couple of ways. Subscribe to our newsletter, GCI Update, and like us on Facebook. And if you'd like more resources from GCI, check out our website. Thanks again for watching. See you next week.